Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Now I will talk about the measurement of electric quadruple moment in Newton design isotopes. The outlines are motivations, then um, basic techniques, then I will present uh, experimental analysis and analysis procedure and uh, we will compare the results. Uh, we know the iron nuclei lie in between the vibrational tellurium and deformed xenon, so it carries the important information about shape transitions. And as the quadruple moment provides a direct insight into the collective nature of nuclear state, so it is important to measure the quadruple moment of these iron isotopes. Okay. So, uh, there are many uh, anomalies uh, regarding this information. If we extrapolate these two lines, then we can see that at equal state T2, the quadruple moment of 5 plus state is higher than that of 7 plus state. But uh, theoretical calculation, which was done in 1964, it was um, uh, showed um, different results. So, they suggested uh, for the change of nuclear nuclear interaction. And another anomaly is, is um, for proton D5 half um, excitation state at equal state T4, which uh, drops um, suddenly in a lower values and uh, it can be explained by changing both uh, single particle energy as well as the neutron proton interactions. Okay. And now recent time we um, S100 PN interaction available uh, with initial X code uh, and it can explain uh, the many recent uh, physics importance around these uh, 132 pin. Um, so it is a um, very good um, exercise to explore this interaction and uh, to measure the cal calculate the quadruple moment. So we have uh, used uh, TTPSC technique to measure the um, quadruple moment. The basic idea is that um, if it, uh, the correlation between two gamma rays uh, can be written mathematically using this Legendre equation, where PK is the angular correlation, and theta is the angle of gamma two with respect to gamma one. Now, if the source nuclei is part of um, in a suitable um, electric field um, which has a um, uh, gradient then the nuclei will start precision around the symmetric axis. So, um, and the spin of the level will be split into M states. Um, from this um, uh, equation, we can uh, um, explore this quadruple um, frequency. So, uh, the angular correlation between the two gamma rays will be perturbed uh, by this uh, perturbation factor, which is a function of uh, time. And um, experimentally, we can access this um, um, perturbation factor. And um, then uh, we can calculate the quadruple frequency and hence the quadruple moment for the nuclei. Uh, so, we have performed um, a fission experiment uh, at VCC um, Kolkata using 40 MeV alpha beam on a natural uranium target and, and um, the targets and catcher um, was designed um, like um, this and we have uh, collected all the catcher files and then we have performed radiochemical separation process to separate the tellurium isotopes. Um, the all catcher um, was dissolved, um, were dissolved in acid medium, then we have added the tellurium carriers and then finally we have reduced the tellurium metal matrix and uh, then annealed at 300 degree centigrade. Um, and the tellurium metal matrix uh, contains the uh, active tellurium isotopes and from the beta decay we um, uh, explored the excited states of the iron isotopes. We have two uh, setups, uh, one consists uh, several clover detectors and another in very close configuration uh, length number wide detectors. Uh, clover detectors um, uh, helps to uh, um, uh, identify the gamma rays and from the data of length and we uh, measured the quadruple moment. We have performed the XRD um, on um, inactive tellurium metal which um, has produced in the same chemistry and we saw that it, um, um, it is a CP structure. And this is, this is the um, ungated um, energy spectrum for both clover and uh, length number one detectors. We, so we have, then we have measured uh, quadruple moment for higher, higher plus state and three um, plus state for these two isotopes. This is the, um, these are the um, uh, gated spectrum of um, this uh, two cascade and it is um, typically time distribution spectrum for uh, this cascade. So um, then we um, measured, um, calculate the A2G2 values from, from this equation where the W180 is the angular, angular correlation between 0 degree and 180 degree and 90 degree, or W90 is between 0 and 90 degree detectors. This is the um, uh, plot and from the Fourier transformation of this data, we uh, calculate uh, the quadruple frequency. Uh, so from the quadruple frequency and the known values of uh, electric gradient field which have, has been calculated using wine to k code by by Professor P. Blaha, and we this is the present result, and we have compared with the available experimental data for these two isotopes. 
and then we have performed the uh, cell model calculation using uh, new select code um, with this introduction um, introduction and uh, we have compared with the excited um, states of high and uh, plus uh, levels uh, for the all the isotopes um, below 129 iodine we have had to put one restriction in neutron g7 of orbitals so this is the result from cell model calculation we have used these um, effective charges and values um, to um, 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 calculate the quadruple moment uh, following this uh, literature and um, we have compared the our present experimental um, result and the um, literature value and then we have uh, systematically calculated all the um, isotopes of iodine um, for these two um, levels uh, and um, plotted uh, as a function of neutron numbers and compared with the experimental available experimental data and we saw that there is no uh, discrepancy between the theoretical and experimental result um, then we have studied the deformation um, and uh, this black one is our data and we have compared with the uh, neighboring nuclei and uh, we have uh, calculated the deformation from these um, equations okay Now, summary, we have um, successfully measured the quadruple moment for 3 plus state of 132 iodine and 5 plus state of 131 iodine for the first time using TTPSC technique. And um, we have compared with the experimental uh, cell model calculation um, of quadruple moment. Uh, thank you.